Ugh, oh, so hard to believe in God in China. I can't wait for the CCP to fall. When it does, we can freely believe in God without fear of persecution. Brother Zhang, Brother Xu, after hearing your fellowship, I understand it now. The CCP is an atheist party, a demonic group that is hostile to God and the truth. Yes. 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 The demon is the personification of Satan. The reincarnation of Satan and evil spirits is the demon, the sworn enemy of God. That's right, right. That's that's absolutely right. true. Right. Therefore, yes. because God appears in the flesh and works in China in the last days, the insane suppression and persecution he encounters from the government is inevitable. Yes. But most leaders in the religious community are servants of God who are familiar with the Bible. Not only do they not seek and study Almighty God's work in the last days, they judge, condemn, and frantically resist. That's true. This is ridiculous. It is. I mean, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not surprising the CCP condemns God's work. But why do religious leaders resist and condemn God's work as well? That's a good question. We lack the insight to understand this issue. Brother Zhang, Brother Xu, please explain it to us. Yes, yes please, yes. I want to know. Brothers, please, yes, please, please, please clarify. clarify. That's right. It would be normal if only the CCP government convicted, suppressed, and persecuted Eastern Lightning. Because the CCP is an atheist, satanic regime that has always suppressed religious beliefs and arrested and persecuted Christians. Yes. But the majority of pastors in the religious community are teachers of the Bible and servants of God. Right. Their judgment and condemnation of Eastern Lightning exposes the problem. Yes. What problem does what it expose? Problem? I can affirm that when religious community condemns any sect as heretic, it usually isn't wrong. Does everyone agree? Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Co-worker Wu, what is your logic in claiming that the work of Almighty God in the last days is not the true way? Going by the majority of religious leaders' resistance to and condemnation of Almighty God, yeah. do you have God's word as a basis for your assertion? Are religious pastors and elders established and used by God? Do they know God? Can they determine how God comes and how God appears and works? Have you sorted these things out? Yet you dare draw the conclusion. We shouldn't be hasty to draw to conclusions. You have read the Bible for some years. You should know clearly how the Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees condemned and resisted the Lord Jesus. Yes. Yeah. You believed in the Lord for many years, so why do you still worship the pastors and elders? Do you believe in the Lord Jesus or in the pastors? Do you listen to the word of the Lord or the words of men? If you really believe in the Lord, why do you worship the pastors and elders? Exactly. Why do you follow and obey men when you believe in the Lord? Yes, why do you? I highly doubt you truly believe in the Lord. That's right. Exactly. The question raised by Brother Lin is very critical. Most believers in the Lord do not understand it. God has become flesh twice. Twice he encountered the collective resistance, condemnation, and persecution of the religious community and the world's governments. This proves that the true way has been persecuted since ancient times. Amen. Amen. Many people can't understand this. They particularly feel astonished at the religious leader's condemnation of God's work. Actually, there's nothing strange about this. Back then, when the Lord Jesus appeared to work, He was first condemned, blasphemed, and arrested by the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees of Judaism. That's true. Yeah. These facts were clearly written in the Bible. Yes, it was written. Those chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees were supposed to teach the Bible and serve God. Why did they condemn, persecute, and hunt the incarnate Lord Jesus? Was their belief in God for no other purpose than to crucify the Lord Jesus when He came? No, I don't think so. No. Absolutely not. Then why did they commit such acts against God? Yeah, why did they? Almighty God has revealed the mystery here. Let's read a few passages of Almighty God's Word. Uh, Praise the Lord. God. I can't wait. Almighty God says, Do you wish to know the root of why the Pharisees opposed Jesus? 
Do you wish to know the substance of the Pharisees? They were full of fantasies about the Messiah. What's more, they believed only that the Messiah would come, yet did not seek the truth of life. And so, even today, they still await the Messiah. For they have no knowledge of the way of life and do not know what the way of truth is. How, say you, could such foolish, stubborn and ignorant people gain God's blessing? How could they behold the Messiah? They opposed Jesus because they did not know the direction of the Holy Spirit's work, because they did not know the way of truth spoken by Jesus, and furthermore, because they did not understand the Messiah. And since they had never seen the Messiah and had never been in the company of the Messiah, they made the mistake of paying empty tribute to the name of the Messiah while opposing the substance of the Messiah by any means. These Pharisees in substance were stubborn, arrogant, and did not obey the truth. The principle of their belief in God is, no matter how profound your preaching, no matter how high your authority, you are not Christ unless you are called the Messiah. Are these views not preposterous and ridiculous? Yes. 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 I ask you again, is it not extremely easy for you to commit the mistakes of the early Pharisees given that you have not the slightest understanding of Jesus? Are you able to discern the way of truth? Can you truly guarantee that you will not oppose Christ? Are you able to follow the work of the Holy Spirit? If you do not know whether you will oppose Christ, then I say that you are already living on the brink of death. Those who did not know the Messiah were all capable of opposing Jesus, of rejecting Jesus, of slandering Him. People who do not understand Jesus are all capable of denying Him and reviling Him. Absolutely. Moreover, they are capable of seeing the return of Jesus as the deceit of Satan. And more people shall condemn Jesus returning to flesh. Does not all of this make you afraid? What you face shall be blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, the ruination of the words of the Holy Spirit to the churches, and the spurning of all that is expressed by Jesus. What can you gain from Jesus, if you are so befuddled? How can you understand the work of Jesus when he returns to flesh on a white cloud if you obstinately refuse to realize your errors? I tell you this. People who do not accept the truth yet blindly await the arrival of Jesus upon white clouds will surely blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And they are the race that shall be destroyed. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Can I read next? Go ahead. Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day, yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Not one is able to know God. Moreover, not one is in accord with the heart of God. They are all worthless, vile men, each standing on high to teach God. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose him. Though they label themselves believers of God, they are ones who eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such men are devils who devour the soul of man. Demons who purposefully disturb those who try to step onto the right path and stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God. Though they are of robust flesh, how are their followers to know that they are antichrists who lead man in opposition to God? How are they to know that they are living devils who specially seek souls to devour? 
That's the case. Right. Yes. Look at the leaders of every denomination and sect. They are all arrogant and self-right, and they interpret the Bible out of context and according to their own imagination. They all rely on gifts and erudition to do their work. If they were incapable of preaching anything, would those people follow them? They do, after all, possess some learning and can speak a little of doctrine or know how to win over others and how to use some artifices, through which they have brought people before themselves and have deceived them. Nominally, those people believe in God, but in reality, they follow their leaders. If they encounter those who preach the true way, some of them would say, we have to consult him about our belief in God. See how they require someone's consent to believe in God? Is that not a problem? What have those leaders become then? Have they not become Pharisees, false shepherds, antichrists, and stumbling blocks to people's acceptance of the true way? Right. The reason that man opposes God stems, on one hand, from the corrupt disposition of man, and on the other hand, from ignorance of God, and lack of understanding of the principles of God's work and his will toward man. These two aspects merge into a history of man's resistance to God. Amen. 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 That's the case. The words of Almighty God have clearly spoken about the root cause of the Pharisees, religious pastors and elders' resistance to God. Did exactly. right. everyone hear it clearly? Yes, yes. 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 Thank God. We did. Which one of you will talk about why religious leaders resist and condemn God? Religious leaders only focus on pursuing biblical knowledge and theological theories, but not in pursuing the truth, so they don't recognize the Lord's return. That's right. The pastors and elders are weary of and hostile to the truth. When they see that the expressions of Almighty God are all the truth, they are filled with hostility, and they begin to judge, condemn, and resist God. Yeah. yeah. What you've said is all correct. When the Pharisees of Judaism listened to the word of the Lord Jesus, they openly acknowledged that the word of the Lord Jesus was authoritative and powerful that originated from God. Why did they still condemn, incarcerate, and crucify the Lord Jesus. Logically, since they discovered that the word of the Lord Jesus was the truth, they should have prayed to God to seek the answer. Is the Lord Jesus the Messiah? God would certainly have enlightened That's them. That's right. Mm. That's right. They need it. But they neither sought nor prayed to God. They directly condemned the Lord Jesus for blasphemy. In particular, they repeatedly asked the Lord Jesus, Are you the Messiah? When the Lord Jesus directly answered them, they refused to believe. Yeah. This is enough to show that the Pharisees were too arrogant. They worshiped the Bible too much. They had no regard for Christ expressing the truth. Their logic was that no matter how much truth the Lord Jesus could express, no matter how authoritative and powerful the Lord's word was, as long as he was not named the Messiah, they would condemn and even nail the Lord Jesus on the cross. True. True. That's so, so despicable. Weren't those leaders of Judaism demons who hated the truth? Yes. Yes, yes exactly. That's right. It is. If the Lord Jesus could not express the truth, would they have such hatred for him? No, no they wouldn't. I don't think so. This had completely exposed the satanic nature of the Pharisees that detested the truth. Amen. 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 This was where the roots of the Pharisees' resistance of the Lord Jesus lie. Amen. Just as how the Lord Jesus exposed the Pharisees. But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Amen. Amen. We see clearly why the Jewish leaders resisted and killed the Lord Jesus. Then why the religious pastors and elders in the last days frantically resist and condemn Almighty God is not hard to understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Is everyone clear on this issue now? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really great to learn like yeah. this. 
Absolutely. Those of us who have experienced the work of God would realize that people who detest the truth inevitably judge, condemn, and resist God. Isn't it true? Yes. 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 It's, true. it's true. The judgment work of Almighty God in the last days is to cleanse the satanic disposition of man. How does God cleanse and save man? It is by expressing the truth to judge and cleanse man. Amen. Those who accept the truth will receive cleansing and salvation. The satanic disposition of those who reject the truth will not be changed. They will still resist and betray God. That's absolutely true. Right. In the Church of Almighty God, some people who are weary of and hostile to the truth were completely revealed. These unbelievers and antichrists were purged and expelled. As for the religious pastors and elders, why do they deliberately condemn or blaspheme Almighty God? Isn't it because Almighty God expresses many truths and He has conquered and saved a group of people? The work of Almighty God has revealed them, so they hate and condemn God. Their satanic nature is completely exposed. Indeed. Why does God detest and curse these exposed antichrists? It is because they compete with God for His chosen people by firmly controlling the sheep of God in their hands Despicable. and forbidding people to study and receive the true way. They engage in independent kingdom building and become demons that harm and devour the human lives. They are condemned and cursed by God for offending God's disposition. Amen. 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 Do you say this is the case? Yes. 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 Of course. Absolutely. Yes. Just let us study it. It's too enlightening. What is the basis of the pastors and elders' condemnation of Almighty God? We have to discern this matter. First, they only go by the lack of record of Almighty God's work in the Bible. They only believe that God's Word was all written in the Bible, and God's Word does not exist outside the Bible. So they deny the work of Almighty God. Second, they don't understand how the prophecies of the Bible are fulfilled. Like the Pharisees, they only follow regulation. No matter how profound and authoritative the sermon spoken by the Lord Jesus was, how much the truth He has, as long as the Lord was not called the Messiah, they would condemn and even nail the Lord Jesus to yes. the cross. Yes. Yes. Third, they do not recognize Christ in the flesh, nor do they admit that God will become flesh. According to Apostle John, they are antichrists. Yes. Fourth, they go by the rumors and lies fabricated by the CCP government to deny the work of Almighty God in the last days. They even take side with the CCP. They can't wait for the CCP to thoroughly ban the Church of Almighty God. Yes. yes, that's what they that did. That's exactly that's how exactly Pastor Sian joined efforts with This makes us think, why didn't the Lord Jesus go to the synagogue when He preached and worked? Why did He look for someone in the wilderness who was after God's heart? Does everyone know why that was? If the Lord Jesus had gone to the synagogue, He surely would have been expelled. Yes. Had the Lord Jesus gone there, He'd have been arrested and handed over to those in power by the Jewish leaders. What you said is correct. If we went to the church to bear witness for Almighty God, what would be the outcome? Definitely negative. Mm. I'm sure that they will report us to the police. Mm. Yeah. And what does that tell us? The people in religion are too pathetic. They believe in the Lord but don't know the Lord. Yes. They're even capable of selling out and betraying the Lord. These religious leaders are too vicious. Yeah. That's what we didn't expect. Yeah. Yes. yes. Now we all see the true colors of the pastors and elders. Yes. Now I see it clearly. The pastors and elders are people who detest mm -hmm. the truth. That's right. That's right. No wonder. They keep resisting God's work in the last days. The pastors and elders just enjoy talking about biblical knowledge and theological theories to let people worship them. Yeah. They like listening to flattery. They just like people who flatter them. Yes. If it weren't for... Almighty God's work revealing the pastors and elders, we still wouldn't be able to distinguish. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> how would we be able to tell them about The ways religious leaders resist right. Almighty God are identical to how the Pharisees resisted the Lord Jesus. Why didn't we recognize it? We have listened to the preaching of the elders for many years, but we didn't understand the truth at all. Mm -hmm. That's right. Makes sense. Had it not been for Almighty God, 
to reveal the root causes and true nature of the religious Pharisees, pastors, and elders' resistance to God, we wouldn't have discerned that they are the antichrists and evil servants that detest the truth. Exactly. We would still be deceived and constrained by the religious pastors and elders and remain resistant to God's work. We may even follow them in resisting and condemning Almighty God. It was so dangerous. Absolutely. Indeed. It was very dangerous. It was. Yes. it was. Exactly. Thanks to Almighty God who has mercy on us, who rescued us from the control of these pastors and elders, the Antichrists. That's right. We are grateful to God. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Amen. Thanks be to God. 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 Thank God. Thank God. Thank Him. Over the years, I have long heard that Eastern Lightning witnessed the return of Lord Jesus. Many good sheep and head sheep of various denominations have accepted Almighty God. But I worship the pastors and elders too much and blindly listen to their nonsense. I didn't study the true way. I was not believing in and following the Lord. I was purely worshiping and following a man. I was unaware that I had been deceived by the Antichrist who almost delivered me to hell. Right. The religious leaders are the modern day Pharisees. Exactly. They are the demons that stop us from entering the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. That's right. They keep us from entering.